Uh, thank you so much indeed for uh, joining us today for this great uh, conversation. This is, I think, the second conversation with Qatar Tribune. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, we have some uh, different questions about uh, the developments of yes. uh, the bilateral relations between uh, uh, Indonesia and, and Qatar. Yes. We'd like you to answer these questions because many of our readers are asking these questions all yes. the time. Uh, first of all, Your Excellency, how do you assess the evaluation of Qatar-Indonesian relations in uh, the recent years? And what are the key areas that have been strengthened during this period? Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Khalid. Uh, I'm very honored to have this opportunity to convey some information and messages about our bilateral relationship with Qatar. Uh, from the historical point of view, the relationship diplomatically, we start in 1976. Then in 1997, Qatar opened the embassy in Jakarta. And two years later, in 1999, Indonesia opened the embassy here. Since that time, the cooperation relationship between the two countries is increasing, uh, ranging from the political field, economic cooperation, up to social or people to people contact. Then what are the main important milestone, if we can see it as a milestone in our bilateral relationship, please the exchange of visit, not only at the working level, but most importantly also at the leaders level. What are the significant, let's say, accomplishments of the embassy regarding the uh, developing the bilateral ties between Qatar and Indonesia? Let's say for the past five years. Uh, we have a very good uh, cooperation and a lot of uh, memorandum of understandings between the two countries, a lot of uh, agreements, for example, also. And it is not only limited to the bilateral one, but also supporting the third country or the rest of the world problem. Yeah. Especially uh, when Qatar hosting the Afghan peace process, for example, uh, you know that uh, the, the peace process is starting uh, in 2021, uh, 2020, in February, and then lot of things happen. Indonesia is one of the host country support group mm -hmm. together with Germany, Norway, and Uzbek yeah. for this, this, this process. I think this is uh, showing how uh, Indonesia and, 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 and Qatar are together not only, for their own, not only for their own interest and benefit, but also to serve the interest, the betterment, the world order and peace very good uh, your excellency can you elaborate on the current level of cooperation between indonesia and qatar across diverse domains such as the economy yes. culture education yeah so uh of course i do believe and i so i i think also uh, some parties also uh, share my my concern is uh, our economic operation is growing in principle, yes. But the room to have a higher level is huge. For example, in terms of trade, our trade volume still below the level of pre-pandemic. COVID-19. COVID-19 changed the numbers, changed the volume of activities. So the trade volume in 2020 and 2021 is much lower compared to the previous years. But Alhamdulillah, again, we see the numbers in 2022 is already increasing. 2023 even better yeah. so we are expecting that the numbers will be 
higher and higher. Uh, the contact between the two business communities, as I mentioned to you, not only from the state-owned companies, but also uh, from the private sector as well. Okay, uh, Your Excellency, could you shed light on the joint investment opportunities between the two nations, let's say the mutual yeah. investment opportunities between the two nations? Yeah. Uh, as you might know, uh, and I mentioned to you, Indonesia is a very huge country and we are islands. So the connectivity, connectivity, infrastructure is very important for us. Yeah. Apart, from, apart from the natural resources, it is also important to build the infrastructure. Okay. And then the need of the people, because Indonesia, I think the, the numbers of the middle upper class is also growing. Yeah. And this is a very good market. Domestic market is very huge. It's not only the numbers is huge, but the capacity, the purchasing power is also important, especially if you are concentrating on the, on the, on the middle upper class. Then Indonesia is aware that uh, uh, we have to create more industries uh, according to the new trend in the world. Then, for example, the uh energy uh uh green energy uh, uh i mean saving energy something like that and then for example to be concrete uh, electric vehicle in indonesia is very important and then when we are thinking to have the electric uh, uh, electric vehicle we do have the supporting for that industry we have the market certainly and then is battery the battery we have the, the we have the the material we have the the mining we have the mining i think uh, in this in this in this uh, regard if qatar can share the investment do the investment in asia it's not necessarily qatar uh, uh, doing it by only itself but also together with other companies together with other countries you know and Indonesia is very what role does the embassy play in, in enhancing the cultural and art initiatives in Qatar and between Qatar and Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, one of the important actors in diplomacy is people. Yeah. When we're talking about people, people are human beings and people has a lot of in their minds and creation. Sure. So culture is something inherited to them. The two countries uh, certainly is a different countries. It's not the same countries, but we do have so many similarities. Different doesn't mean that we don't have similarities. Maybe the size is, uh, Indonesia is very big, Qatar is on the other side. But don't forget one thing, we have so many ethnic groups in Indonesia yeah. with different cultural experience, with different cultural, uh, with different religion, languages, dialect. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Qatar, Qatar also has this kind of things. People who are living in Qatar, not only Qatari. People who are living here are people from different parts of the world. And they bring their sure. culture. They bring their languages. They bring their uh, cuisine, etc. You know? So they make it. So they make it. Uh, Your Excellency, how do you see the role of media mm. in promoting the mutual understanding between Indonesia and Qatar? Uh, I have been with the diplomatic service more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether this word uh, is proper or not, but if you're talking about diplomacy, it looks like a coin with media. This is diplomacy, this is media. 
we, we always work together. Media is our partner, key partner. Media is also a tool to convey the message. And if you are talking about media, lately, for many, many years, I think, is not only the conventional one, including the social media. So the role of media is certainly one of the key factor and actor in diplomatic world. That's my okay, <clears throat> Your uh, Excellency, what, what steps are being taken by the by Indonesia and Qatar to bolster economic collaboration for the future? Let's talk about the future plans. Yes. So this... yes. Uh, uh, I came here in November 2020. It was during COVID. And then I saw Qatar, similar to Indonesia also, manage the pandemic situation properly, preparing 